welcome to Spam Filter for Your Brain, bite-sized ponderings on how our thoughts influence our behaviour and our lives, and because we're all connected, how our thoughts impact the world. I'm here to help people reconnect with their bodies and declutter their brains. And I don't believe that we should just magically know how our emotions and our thoughts impact our lives if no one ever teaches us. So let's learn this stuff together. Something I've been thinking about a lot this year is how I interact personally with movement. Before I got COVID, um, I think lots of you probably know that I struggle with long COVID and have a very different body than the one that 2019 (laughs) left me with. Um, I used to be exceedingly active and go to the gym five days a week and cycle for two hours a day and now I'm fairly housebound and walk with mobility aid and my physicality is very different than the one that that I used to know and used to very much identify with and I personally struggle with being hypermobile and with the fatigue that long Covid has left me with so what that means is that when I because of my hypermobility if I stay still too long my body seizes up I get very stiff and it causes a lot of sort of knock-on repercussions of difficulties with my body um, and a lot of pain and if I uh, if I rest as much as I need to for the long Covid that causes that um, that level of seizing up so um, if I move I get extremely exhausted and kind of get to the point of I can't always necessarily form words and I have developed a stutter and lots of other repercussions of being a sort of it feels a bit like my brain shutting down um when I move as much as I need to and then if I don't move as much as I need to I get really stuck and in a lot of pain so it's trying to find a balance between these two things and over the last couple of years um in the sort of hope that long covid would would fade away and I would find my way back to the body that I once knew I'm now coming to terms with the fact that that may not be the case and this might be the house that I live in for the the rest of my story um and so one of my news resolutions was to re to think about um how I wanted to incorporate rest and movement in my life in a more creative way and one of the thoughts that I had been processing a lot and and thinking a lot about sort of reframing and reforming um, is how I had previously really used exercise as a tool to try and manipulate my body into a looking in a particular way in the hope that I would be more socially acceptable, have an easier life, um, maybe be a bit kinder to myself if I looked a particular way. I really thought of exercise as a a tool for weight loss in many many ways and I really have put a lot of time and effort into thinking about how I can change that into movement being something that I do for joy so in this new body that I have rather than my aim being to get back to going to the gym again maybe my aim could be to spend five minutes doing some gardening or maybe it could be that I'm going to put on my favourite song and dance around my kitchen. Um, or maybe it could be that I could do some gentle stretches just on my shoulders, for example. Or maybe I could just do a few back exercises just to kind of do some core strength and do them for 10 minutes rather than a whole full hour workout that I used to want to do. And it's not so much about pacing, but about doing things because I enjoy that sense of movement rather than thinking that this is going to be the resolution that's going to solve my body, seeing my body as a problem to be solved. And this week, I invite you to get a little bit curious about what ways could you invite more movement into your life if you want to, in a way that serves you, in a way that is creative, in a way that fills you with joy. Could it be that you decide that you're going to go for a walk to the end of your road um, if you're able to every day, even no matter what the weather's like for a whole week? Could it be that you're going to spend at least once a day or whenever you get an email from a particular person who you find a little bit tricky that you're going to spend 30 seconds wiggling your fingers and thinking how brilliant it is that we have the ability to have opposable thumbs that pick things up like cups of tea 
or is it going to be that you are going to try wiggling your shoulders in the shape of writing your name? What sort of thing could you do that finds movement in your days to be a joyful creative exercise rather than a punishment for thinking that your body hasn't got things right so far? Um, this is just lots of things that I've been thinking about lately and I, I hope that it is helpful for you. Um, I'm just about to give you a little bit more information but I am running a, a course throughout March on body image and um, so these things are very at the front, uh, very much at the front of my mind at the moment and I hope that some of this is useful for you so you could find some creative ways to bring more movement into your days to give you joy and not because you have to or not kind of using conflating exercise with punishment where we can use movement for joy. I hope this is useful and have a beautiful week full of whatever movement fills your heart with many smiles. If you're enjoying what you're hearing on the podcast here, I would love to invite you to Self Care School. Self Care School is a membership site where we have group coaching calls every week. We have a whole load of courses that you can dip into for whatever suits your needs. We have courses on confidence, body image, um, timekeeping, how to manage big emotions, um, overwhelm, loads and loads of stuff in there. You can kind of pick out whatever you want to work on. There is a big library of workbooks, which includes journal prompts and questions for you to be able to apply this work to your own life. And we, we have the most amazing community where people support each other. We learn from each other and you get to work alongside people with quite often very different life situations to your own and we learn so much together in community if you would like some more of this please do hop over to selfcareschool.co.uk